Hello and welcome to our virtual open day for art and design, fashion and textiles and graphic design. My name's Lucy, I'm just hosting the session with you today. So just before we get started and, and show you some information about the subject area, uh, just to say we are recording the session and we will share that on our website and on YouTube um, as well on our channels there. So you can always look back and get some more information. Um, if you want any more information, we will put some links into the chat as well, so you can get the links for the website and obviously um, you can head on there for more detailed information. Um, and also, if you have any questions, we are using the chat box today, so do please pop your questions into the chat and we'll pick those up at the end and answer as many of those as we can. But without further ado, let's get started and find out a little bit more about the subject area. Good afternoon and welcome to the virtual open day for art and design, fashion and textiles and graphics design. I'm Ros Walecki and I'm the course team leader at Uxbridge College. So to start with, I wanted to give you a brief overview of today's presentation. Usually we would get you to come in and meet the team, um, have a tour around our facilities, speak to our students and find out more about our courses. Today, however, hopefully I will be able to um, give you as much information as possible in this slideshow and there will be an opportunity to ask questions at the end. So to start with, our fantastic facilities at Uxbridge College. Um, in Art and Design, we are very fortunate to have recently moved into a specialist purpose-built facility in September with studios, workshops and classrooms. We have a range of industry standard specialist equipment, including a 3D workshop with 3D printer and laser cutter, a dark room for photography and a Mac suite for graphics, a ceramics workshop with kiln and pottery wheels, print room for etching and screen printing, as well as a fashion studio with industrial sewing machines and pattern cutting facilities. So here you can see um, part of our ceramics workshop. This is our a 3D workshop um, equipped with the laser cutter, band saws, workbenches, uh, pillar drill, sanding machines, 3D printer. This is our printmaking facilities with screen uh, printing exposure unit and screen printing beds. We've also got the kiln in ceramics, fashion studio with our students working hard and our specialist industrial sewing machines in fashion. We also have an open space. This is open access for our students. So you're able to work independently in this space. It also gets used for um, workshops, uh, drawing sessions, as well as um, it forms part of our end of year exhibition space. So moving on to the creative arts team. On the left, we have Sue Tarrant. She's the head of school for creative arts and health and social care. In the middle, we have David Stora, the section manager for creative arts. And on the right is myself, Ros Walecki, course team leader for art and design, graphics and fashion and textiles. Our lecturing team, we have Seth, Seth Maximum, level one art design and media tutor, who has a vast experience of industry and teaching level one, um, background in drawing, uh, printmaking and animation. We then have Jill Tattersall on her pottery wheel in the middle, um, level two, uh, course leader and has um, lots of experience working in industry as well as in education. Clara Clark, level three art and design with a background in photography. Uh, Mike Taylor, who is an industry professional working um, currently in industry as a graphics designer and also teaches on our level three graphics course. And then Kieran Khan, who is a fashion designer and also is tutor on the level three fashion and textiles courses. We also have a fantastic technical support team. Um, we've got Sarah Deaton, our 3D specialist art technician with a background in props and model making, as well as Marie Emerson, our fashion and textiles technician who also works in industry um, designing wedding dresses and various other fashion garments. So moving on to the courses that we have to offer at the college. Um, all of our courses in art and design are awarded by UAL, so University of the Arts London. Um, UAL is a fantastic 
um, awarding body for creative subjects. It's at the forefront of um, FE education and its aim is to support young people who want to progress through creative education and into creative industries. Um, we were one of the first colleges in London to switch from the BTEC to the UAL and it is the preferred qualification for universities and employers. Um, assessment is usually mainly portfolio based. Uh, learners develop a range of skills working towards their final ma major project, FMP, and the FMP counts towards the final grade. At level three, there is also an externally set and assessed project during your first year as the diploma student. Okay, so the courses we have, we've got a level one diploma in art and design and media. We offer a level two in art and design a level three diploma and extended diploma in art and design, which is a two year course and is equivalent to your three A levels. We also offer the level three in a fashion and textile specialism and a graphics design specialism. Okay, so moving on. So level one art and design. So this is really to take your first steps into the world of creativity and art. Um, there's no entry requirements for this course, um, but you should have a keen interest in art or design and media and progression from this course is usually on to level two in art design media or games design so lots of our students start with us in level one and they progress on to level two um, with some also progressing on to level three and on to university so the level one course is really about starting your journey as a creative individual and learning those very basic skills the level two art and design course, we're looking for four GCSEs at grade three, ideally including your maths and English and an art related subject. And you will need to bring a portfolio during interview. Um, progression is onto the level three art and design, media or games design um, departments at the college or elsewhere. Uh, level three art and design, we have a entry requirement of five GCSEs at grade nine to four, including English and maths or a relevant level two qualification at a merit or above. You also need to show a varied portfolio of creative work and attend an interview. Uh, so the things that we're looking for in le at level three in your portfolio is very much uh, drawing from observation, so from real life, um, any artist research, any interesting projects that you've done at school or in your own time, and really just seeing that passion for wanting to study art and design at a higher level with the intention of going on to university or into employment. Um, so progression from the level three courses um, can be for your first year into your second year and then on to university apprenticeships or industry. And here is a video from some of our art and design students so you get a student's perspective. And one of the most things I enjoy about the course is that it's got um, so many different things that you can try and it's all about having a go and not making and not like being afraid of making any mistakes creating new pieces of art and exploring new techniques, you know, using a darkroom and producing film, photography and painting and printing. The computers are programs like Illustrators, um, Adobe, Photoshop. There's so much actually that I enjoy about Art and Design Level 3. And all the resources and facilities are high quality to ensure that our work is at the best quality that it can be. And I've learned so many different skills that I thought I wouldn't have and I wouldn't have got them without the support from the teachers and they're fantastic. We all enjoy it a lot. So moving on to level three graphics. Again, we're looking for five GCSEs at grade nine to four profile, preferably including English and maths or the level two equivalent at merit or above. Um, you will need to show a portfolio for um, interview with graphics. Again, we're looking for creativity, drawings, um, researching, annotations, outcomes, um, showing who you are as a creative individual. Uh, progression from this course, so from your year one in the diploma, you can progress onto the um, extended diploma second year and then onto higher education courses, apprenticeships or industry. And next is a video from one of our graphic students. 
I've been a student at this college for two years now and throughout the last two years I've learned a lot of very valuable skills that will help me throughout the rest of my career life. I've learned how to use different Adobe softwares like Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign and I've used them to create different posters, I've made logos, greeting cards, motion sequences, uh, magazine layouts, all of them would go together to make a very good portfolio at the end of two years that will help me throughout my uni applications. Um, I think coming to college is a very enjoyable experience. I get along very well with my class and I think my teachers are very approachable and helpful um, with problems regarding schoolwork or outside of it. Um, overall, I think coming to college is a very happy experience and I really recommend it to everyone. Okay, and finally, the last course we offer in art and design is our level three fashion and textiles course. Again, very similar entry requirements to art and design and graphics. And the fashion and textiles course is really for um, individuals who are really keen to develop their um, textile skill base, as well as um, fashion designing, fashion illustration, garment construction, and um, looking at people that want to really go into um, fashion at university or textiles at university or related courses, um, apprenticeships or into industry. And finally, here is some um, feedback from our fashion students currently studying with us. I'm a student at Oxbridge College studying fashion design. It is one of the top colleges in West London. Here you can find highly qualified staff who have industry experience and help us to develop our skills. We do a lot of designing pattern cutting and illustrations that help us gain our skills to go to university. As you can see, it helps to push boundaries by design and also fully equipped with industry professional equipment. We have a lot of facilities such as amazing equipment and teachers that will help you with anything you need. If you need extra help or you're struggling with something, they're always there to help. So I decided that my future could be started here and I can progress further into university. And I think uh, it's really helped me gain my skills and I think it will really help me in university as well. Which leads me on to our student body. So our students at the college are at the forefront of everything that we do. And here our art and design, graphics and fashion students are preparing for their end of year exhibition. So every year in the creative arts department, we have an exhibition where students get to showcase the fantastic work that they've produced and the skills that they've learned um, throughout their course and their time with us. Um, it's a lovely occasion where we get the students to invite their friends and family in and they get to show off all of the fantastic work that they've put together. So in the academic year 1819, we had 122 students across our five courses and approximately 80% of our learners on level one and two courses progressed onto a higher level. So that's a 70% of this is internal progression. So they start with us on level one or two and they move up to level two or three. We have a strong emphasis on relatable work skills and employability. So this includes soft skills and we're very, very um, keen to encourage our students to maintain good attendance and punctuality and to arrive prepared for lessons. 90% um, successful subject relatable work experience across our department. So all of our students go out for one week of work experience um, each year where they develop their transferable skills and get an insight into what it's like in working in the industry. Um, on our level three extended diploma, so the equivalent to three A levels, 92% um, of our learners progress directly onto university, 71% of graphics learners progress to university and 90% of our fashion learners did. We also have good English and maths resits. So if you didn't quite get the grade four at GCSE um, as part of your study program, you are able to resit your maths and English. And we have fantastic links with the creative industry and professional opportunities within your study program at Uxbridge College. And um, for example, we've had Mark Norton, the creative director of Think, Think Farm, a branding agency, come in and give um, visiting lectures. We've had Joe Taylor from Advertising Company 
JWT. And we've also have lots of our return, returning alumni students um, come in to give um, talks and prepare our learners for industry and, and, and employment, giving them some advice and guidance. Destinations include um, for university, so lots of our learners go to Arts University Bournemouth, we've got Bath Spa, Chelsea College of Art, uh, London College of Art, Loughborough University, um, UCA, Kingston Uni, Falmouth Uni, University of Westminster and De, De Montfort University. So lots of our students who start with us and um, progress through and then um, have some really fantastic destinations at the end of their time with us at Uxbridge College. Um, as I mentioned earlier, work experience, so all our students go out for one week of work experience each year and this really helps learners find um, industry um, relatable job prospects and to also develop transferable skills. Um, placements uh, this year, so in 2020 included Pinewood, um, DSI London, uh, River Island Design Department with Sky, we had Think Farm, um, Green Tea Architects, Tattoo Studio West, um, Channel 4, and We Launch. And here are some examples of our work experience. So this was a level three project with Rocket Software, um, where learners had to create a mural painting um, in line with the client's brief. And um, so this is some examples of our students out on their work experience with the mural they designed and created behind them. And you can see they've been having a, a fantastic time and it's a great fun um, outside of working in college. Um, we've also had lots of student success and industry experience. So the Lancaster Hotel commis commissioned us in 2016 um, to put on an exhibition. So you can see some of the artwork that was on display and the private view um, where learners got to engage with an audience and with their, their client. We've had um, a Viva commission in 2017 in the Balmont offices in Uxbridge. So this is the student cohort um, putting on their exhibition in this space, and working with Aviva. And again, in 2017, we had Capture at the old vinyl factory in Hayes. So each year, our extended diploma students put on um, a Capture exhibition where they have to engage with their local audience and respond to a client's brief. And there's some examples there and the mayor attended in 2017 and some examples of our student work. In 2018, we had capture again in the um, West London in Hayes. Um, so you can see students, their work, working in a range of specialisms from sculpture to photography to graphics, um, 3D textiles, so lots of different work gets produced. Um, in 2019, it was in the Pavilion Shopping Mall in Uxbridge Town Centre, and our students got to put on So hopefully that has given you a good range um, of uh, of skills that you can see that our students take part in and a good understanding of the courses that we have to offer. As the video was just tailing off there, it was uh, talking about uh, another one of our, uh, our more recent events um, in the town centre within the shopping centre in Uxbridge uh, and uh, an exhibition that students um, curated and uh, managed as well. So there's lots to, to be getting involved in. I'm just going to have a quick look to see if there are any questions that have come in on the chat. If there is anything you want to ask, please just pop your questions into the chat box and we'll pick those up. Um, just one question, um, Roz, uh, that uh, has come through just about um, in terms of uh, making choices uh, and how you might know which, which of the courses to go for. Any thoughts or any advice on that one? Yeah, so um, hopefully 
uh, the information on the slideshow help to provide some some information about the levels. Um, I think most importantly, it's understanding the different levels uh, that we offer at Uxbridge College in art and design. So the level one course um, is mainly for students who may have never done art and design before. Um, and they want to experience uh, working creatively. Uh, they might not have GCSEs or, or any formal qual qualifications. Uh, whereas our level two uh, course is equivalent to GCSEs and is for students who maybe have experienced it quite briefly at school and want to experiment and, and develop their skills further. And then our level three courses in um, art and design, fashion uh, and graphics are very much about uh, working towards uh, university or industry and are equivalent to three A levels. So it's just really important to um, differentiate between those three levels, really. And if you start on a level two course, can you progress to any one of those level three options, um, depending on what your your preference and your and your kind of skill set is? Absolutely. Um, yep. So as long as you've, you've got good attendance um, and you uh, do well on your level two program, then yes, majority of our students um, then progress on to the level three. And, and the level two is a stepping stone to, to help you to get to the equivalent of doing your three A levels. That's great. Thank you. Um, no other questions have come through. So before we finish up, just to say thank you, um, Ros, for providing the information and thanks to our to our fantastic students who also shared their experience. I think it's always good to hear from them about what they love about studying at the college, you know, the, the amazing facilities, the industry experience that we have with staff. Um, so thank you uh, again for sharing with us today. If you do have any other questions or you think I'm ready to apply, that's no problem. You can apply it now online. If you head to our website, uxbridgecollege.ac.uk, you can head to the course that you're interested in, make your application. It's online, it's easy to, to do so. And if you are not quite sure what you want to apply for and you want a little bit more information, you can always get in touch with our careers team and get some more information and advice. And we've popped a couple of links into the, the chat box there. Um, as I said, we've recorded the session and we will share that um, on our YouTube channel. And also you can link to that from our website as well. So just check for any last minute questions. Nope, nothing else has come through. So just to remain to say thank you again for joining us and good luck with your, your next choices and do get in touch if you have any more questions or want some information. Thank you very much.